Now let us see what happened in Russia after the February revolution. Now after February one thing that had happened was that Russia had a provisional government and in the provisional government the majority of them were army officers, landowners and industrialists. But Lenin who was who had been sent to exile came back from exile in the year 1914. Now he put up three demands before the government which were that the war should be brought to an immediate close, banks should be nationalized and the land should be transferred to the peasants. Now initially the people did not believe that such a thing can happen and later on the developments that took place were all in the favor of Lenin that they became huge supporters of Lenin. The workers movement started spreading in the cities and the trade unions were formed. The provisional government tried to repress the Bolshevik government because it feared that they will become weak and the Bolsheviks will come to power. Now here the peasants and the socialist revolutionaries wanted that they should be redistribution of land. So entirely we see that socialism was at the zenith of spread and we see that what was happening is that Lenin was slowly and slowly gaining power, sympathy and support of the people. Whereas the provisional government had started dwindling. Now there occurred another revolution in Russia in the year 1917 in October which is called as the October revolution of 1917. Now Lenin also started fearing that slowly and gradually when the provisional government will understand as to what was happening they will make themselves into an autocratic government and all the efforts will go in vain. That is why the Petrograd Soviet and the Bolshevik party decided to actually seize power and Kerensky who was at the helm of affairs understood the situation and from both the sides that is the provisional government and the Lenin's supporters decided to destroy each other. There were attacks and counter attacks from both the sides. We see that on 24th October started the October revolution and there was heavy fighting on both the sides which continued till December. But the tables turned in the favor of the Bolsheviks and the provisional government collapsed and the Bolsheviks came to power. I will continue with it in the next clipping.